Cameras trained on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Could cross it in here. Can they convert? Looking strongly to win the ball. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Thiago Silva plays with Vidi Orban in central defence. Hakim Ziyech plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Rhys James. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Real chance. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Who can they pick out? Well, still an issue here. Silva. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, Hakim Ziyech, a player who can really give opposing defences a torrid time of it. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. It wasn't a great pass, was it? Well, foul play, says the referee. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, what a goal that would have been. Surprised he took it on, to be honest. Long way out, but oh so close. Feel well? And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, as you can see, Chelsea have dominated the last 15 minutes. They've created plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to grab another opportunity. And a last piece of defending. Sterling and getting across the stop it. A 
Now the delivery, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Makes the move to the inside. Ziyech. Of possibilities inside the box. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Wonderful chance. In it goes. Well, the pressure has been mounting. And now they have the lead. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Back underway and one nil it is. Let's see what happens next. Now well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. This looks more than decent. I like the run of the bill as saves go. Jefferson Lerma. Chris Richard. Possession one. Must go in, surely. Reese James. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Chilwell. He takes aim. Can they close it home? And Chelsea pushing to add to the lead. It'll be a corner. Played over. The referee's whistle, and that means the first half is over here in South London. And the second half is underway with Palace behind. Can they turn this game around? It's going to be interesting to see. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not the best clearance. It needs an accurate cross. And cuts inside.
close, but not quite good enough. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. To confirm, Brighton have scored in that match and they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Crystal Palace facing Everton. Very quick thinking there. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Chilwell. Well, they keep the ball moving. Ziyech. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? And a fantastic diving save. So a personnel change then. And now the delivery. Is the chance on here? Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Fantastic effort, he made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Right, just hearing, ball in the net at Old Trafford, that means we join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brighton, it was a poor, poor clearance, and it was far too easy for him after that. They now lead 3-2 with 72 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Andre with it. It did look on for them, but not to be. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Tottenham Hotspur. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. ball but they're not being allowed to continue it's offside well he had the vision to pick out the pass but he couldn't play quite quickly enough and it's Andre now Ziyech he read the well could be in hot water here booked already they decided that now is the time to go to the bench. He'll try his luck here. And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, let's have another look, because that's a wonderful goal from that far out. But should the goalkeeper be beaten from that distance? I don't think so. Mind you, take nothing away from the strike. That was excellent.
It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. An important interception. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Promising position, this. Showing a lot of guile there. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Given away again. Nkunku. Enzo Fernandez. Sterling has it. Very really good interception. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Oh, that's a fine save. And he's in. Really important tackle. Are you? Jean-Philippe Mateta. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.